Hello and welcome to Global Japan. Jakarta has long been one of the world's top three most congested cities. Now, thanks to Japanese technology and expertise, there is another way to get around this megacity of 30 million people. Jakarta's first metro line is one of the most ambitious, sustainable transport projects on the planet. Damon Embling, together with our team in Indonesia, report. Jakarta native Muhammad Iqbal no longer dreads the daily commute to work. He's ditched his motorbike and the city's roads and takes the Mass Rapid Transit System, or MRT, instead. The MRT really helps me in shortening my travel time so that I always arrive at the office on time. Besides that, I also have a new habit with my family. Now every weekend I take my wife and children for an outing to the city forest located in the centre of Jakarta using the MRT. The first line opened in 2019 and stretches almost 16 kilometres, linking southern Jakarta to the centre. A two-hour journey by car, now 18 minutes by train. Praised by commuters for its punctuality and reducing stress, it's been made possible through an all-Japan approach. With light, energy-efficient trains, technology and expertise coming from Japan, along with loans. Jakarta Deva. In Jakarta, as the population increased, so did the number of vehicles. This caused traffic jams and air pollution. To address this situation, the Indonesian government decided to use Japanese technology and knowledge to develop a public transport system for Jakarta. Millions of passengers are already using the subway every year, even during the pandemic. Travel habits are changing, with more people also now walking and cycling. Emissions have already been cut by 18%, according to university analysis. Our approach is that we want to build a stronger trust from the commuters in using public transportation by ensuring and providing a safe journey. And of course, how we can promote public transportation as the choice of lifestyle. And it's not the end of the line. Construction's already underway on the second phase of the MRT, also supported by Japan. It will add almost 12 more kilometres. When this is completed, it will be connecting the most southern part of Jakarta with the northern part of Jakarta. Daisuke Nanjo, from a Japanese engineering consulting company, is part of the team making the MRT happen. We need to construct a vertical tunnels and a four-layer underground station near the canal. And working with such conditions is very difficult. Also, runes have been discovered around the station, so we imagine that it will be very difficult work. But our mission is to finish the construction work on time. Unique transport knowledge and expertise from Japan run right through the MRT guiding its operation and maintenance, and skilling up staff like train drivers and station teams. We have seen the transfer of knowledge of a metro and railway system, be it in the aspects of the planning, the developments, the engineering and the constructions, through the engagements and cooperations with the contractors, the consultants and the operators from Japan, we are able to also build new standards. For train staff like Amelia, working under the mission slogan of Change Jakarta, the MRT is a source of pride. It's a pleasant experience for me as a member of MRT staff, serving the surrounding community with MRT Jakarta. That's it for Global Japan. We've got a lot more very soon. And for previous episodes, just head to euronews.com. Thanks for watching.